With the free version of Avast 5.0 and Avast 5.0 Pro and Internet Security, I thought I'd like to record a video testing out one of the most, uh, one of the features I'm very excited about, which is sandboxing. So if we go into Avast here, underneath real time shields, process virtualization, for some reason, if I add something to this list, or I just can't do it, I don't know why. Under Expert Settings, the Add button just doesn't work. Uh, let's show a border. Now, you can right-click and use a context menu, but I found you had to actually restart the computer first, even if Avast doesn't prompt you to do so. Let's go into the Internet Explorer, right-click it, and choose Always Run in Sandbox. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. Now, what we're going to do is leave the scanning engine turned on while we sandbox these things. Then we're going to turn it off, see what happens, and then scan the system for malware and see what it finds and how much got through. So let's go to mal there we go. malware domain list. Can't type tonight. This is just a great list of um, recently added malware domains. So here's an IRC backdoor. Let's go ahead and try that one first. And a lot of these are dead before even. Well, look at that. Even Google knows that one. Okay, let's do a iframe exploit. Okay, nothing. Let's do. Okay, bondage companion. Yeah, that's probably not safe for Neowin. BBS. Doot, doot, doot. Has been detected. A threat has been detected. So it tells me. Okay, so that was BBS. Okay. Let's go down here, and a lot of these are or all iframes. Nope, nothing. Okay, so let's go to page two, which is page one. And let's go down here and find one. That's Okay, here's a uh, setup a one. Okay, and we're going to run the file. Run. Can't save it. Let's go ahead and try this one. nothing SVC host CH host I should say run okay unsafe we'll say eh, we'll go ahead and do it anyway run okay failed to start but the M uh, WM client is not found that's part of the sandbox so I Avast it got through Avast um, or wait, I don't think this is the one I was looking for. Hmm, this guy's a combo pair. Let's do this one right here. Threat has been detected. Okay, threat's been detected. Okay, so now let's go in here, and we're going to go ahead and turn off the um, web shield. Stop for one hour. Yes. Uh, file system shield. Stop. And notice I'm not turning off the virtualization. I just want to see what happens if it gets through Avast. We'll stop the behavior shield. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and load that same file again. Let's see what happens.
That's an XLS. Okay, let's load this one again. Well, we know that one. Okay. Here's an LDR. Run. Look at that blazing server. That is moving like dial up, I tell you what. Okay. Let's do this one. Run. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so that's, pretty, uh, that's a pretty good test. I mean, if only one got through, then the test fails. So we're going to go ahead and close the sandbox, and we're going to go ahead and open up Malwarebytes. And we're going to go ahead and do a full scan. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video soon to watch the thing scan. But I'll come back and show you what the scan results are. Be back in just a bit. Okay, so here's the result of our scan. Now, I'm a little confused. When I turned off that... Um, that scanner, does that turn off the sandbox? Because this machine looks awfully infected. You know, those buttons to add different programs to the sandbox, I'm wondering, is it disabled in the 32-bit ver or in the 30-day trial? And was just me right-clicking it running sandbox, just kind of working around where it makes you think you're running it sandbox, but it's not? Because I don't know, because we had the red bar around the box, but yet we still got infected. Um, so I don't know. I've also found that while I was inside Internet Explorer Sandboxed, I could save stuff directly to the desktop and then open it up from there. The only time it was actually sandboxed is if you would, when the box would pop up saying, do you want to run or save this file? The only time it would sandbox it is if you chose run. But otherwise, you could save it to the desktop, save it wherever, and then run it from there. So this is my result for the... Um, Avast Pro Sandbox. This is my results. Maybe I'm doing something wrong. Um, post if you know more. But otherwise, post your own video and um, see, tell me what your results are because mine don't look so good. Have a good day.